Sansa has seen clever rulers before. Sansa had her unforgettable experience with Cersei Lannister and her way of dealing with people. Now, watching Daenerys do the same thing with someone like Gendry whom she knows nothing about clearly shows she has ulterior motives than just naming Gendry as a lord. Sansa earlier had maintained her position that the North would remain an independent kingdom which Sansa realized Daenerys wasn't in agreement with. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. Moreover, King Aerys is not someone Sansa admires at all as we know. That's why Sansa was suspicious of Daenerys. It was a public relations coup, and Sansa was intelligent enough to see it. Only a monarch can legitimize a bastard and grant him a title. While everybody else is saying oh wow congratulations Lord Gendry. Sansa is seeing the power play behind it, and realizing that perhaps she had underestimated Dany's intellect or capacity for the game. Sansa has seen a lot of people throw their weight around, and she knows a power play when she sees one. Daenerys didn't just legitimize Gendry and give him Storm's End out of the kindness of her heart, she very much intended on legitimizing Gendry, so she would have a loyal banner man ruling Storm's End. When Sansa sees Daenerys act like this, she is aware that she could have just lost a highly valuable ally in a potential future war against Daenerys. Luckily it never got that far, but Sansa was certainly looking towards a potentially bloody future, and was looking around that celebration tallying her allies and Daenerys, and trying to decide her next moves. As a citizen, I'd rather live under Sansa, for a very mundane reason. Sansa knows how to do the boring stuff. Plowing through shit with a dragon and a super army is cool, but it isn't governing. I can't think of a single thing Dany's done that's conveyed that she understands how to do the boring stuff, the stuff that you can't burn your way through. She's phenomenal at conquest, crap at governance and administration. But it's the governance and administration that make or break you. Who was the greatest Targaryen king? Jaehaerys I. Why was he so great? He focused on the boring shit. Jurisprudence, infrastructure, diplomacy, trade and stability. That's the stuff that actually improves people's day-to-day -day lives. It's not terribly sexy or exciting, but that's what governing is. There's a reason Jaehaerys the first is a paragon of leadership, and the kid who got tens of thousands of men killed trying to conquer Dawn looks like an idiot. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you don't miss anything.